Hey there guys and welcome back to another FPV Guide video. As you know, I'm Bo Lorenzen and this week I'm hanging out at CES 2018. And to the, right now I'm with Jamie from RC Logger, but it's not RC Logger. Uh, yeah, it's changed up a little bit. So we're still RC Logger in the background, but we've kind of shifted our name over to Drone Art. So, because now our complete focus is on, is on drones completely. So, and, uh, there's the... I'm grabbing right behind me here because I've stopped at this booth because I'm going, I've seen this thing before. The iconic nose here, the good old three axis gimbal. And the funny thing is, these guys have been building drones since forever. Yeah, about seven years now we've been doing Yeah, drones, and, and so. you just kind of evolve them because Correct. it's the same design, but you keep tweaking it. Yeah. And absolutely. so what we're shipping today is a lot more solid than here, day one. Correct. So we've always, we always, once we put out a product, we want to keep improving it to make it better, for sure. Absolutely. And I like all the lights. I was always so. enamored with all the lights you yes, put on the drones. Yes, and fully programmable via Bluetooth, so you can change colors, you can... Uh, so, and this one is the no Novak. That's the Nova X350. X350. Yeah, yeah. So that's a 250 millimeter. But that's really not what we're trying to make show you in this video here. Let me show you the new stuff. Sure. So, <laughs> in the new stuff, top of the line 1080p recording camera. It's about, how, how big is this? That's a 73 millimeter. 73 yeah. millimeter, brushless motors, and what am I gonna, I'm gonna blow it with like a 2S, 3S? No, not at all. Actually, these boards, they're a 20 by 20 stack interconnector, so they just connect together. And they can actually handle up to 5S. Did you say 5S? 5S, they're 5S capable, absolutely. I'm like so. envisioning a one inch by one inch by three inch 5S <laughs> cube, and, and this is gonna be embedded in the ceiling somewhere? Yeah, yeah we haven't tried it on the micro, obviously, because we haven't found a 5S battery that small, but, uh, but anyway, we have put these boards on like uh, 200 size, 220 size. The same boards? The same boards, correct. So you can actually put them on a, on a bigger uh, frame. But basically here you have, you have a micro SD slot in the back here. Correct. You have a 1080p recording camera. You have video down and up here you have the control link and 2S? Uh, 2S is how it comes out of the box, correct. 2S out of the box, what, what kind of flight time? Uh, the flight time is about four and a half minutes. So, three and a half minutes? Three and a half what? when you're doing real flying. That when is we're fun. having fun. <laughs> we can probably Uber it for six minutes and we hold our breath and no AC on. But, the, the, so this one was like... So, the price point? Yeah, 1080p. 1080p, that one is 179. So, once because so of that 1080p, and it also sends out 5.8 gigahertz uh, feet as well. Then you have so. one... 40 bucks less? Right, that one is uh, 149. So. One, 149, yes, so correct. 150. Correct. Yes, correct. So, so, I mean, when I write the check, it's still 150. <laughs> and I noticed, as we're going through these, it's still brushless. Correct, so those are those are super tiny, 1103. Uh, those are Now this comes fully assembled. It does not come fully assembled, actually. Uh -oh. So that's kind of the... The unique thing to it. So what we wanted to do is do a kit, but also very simple to put together. Um, so it actually comes in the box with everything that you need in there, and everything's plug and play. So no soldering needed or anything. Um, so it's kind of a stems type thing. And then also we offer all of the parts as well, so you can 3D print the entire thing. So so the, so this file is available online. That's available online, and uh, so there's two variations real quick then in the box actually comes a carbon frame and all the molded parts so if you want to that's this one right so if you want to build it up then you can build it as is in the box but then also if you want to 3d print the parts then you can do that as well so you can go either direction so now so unless i bust this i don't see a reason to print it right yeah there's there's no reason unless you just want to you know totally customize it you could do different or colors do something cool put a roll bar on it absolutely sure so so basically they have the stand the standard shapes here and you can this stl so that means you can open it up you can edit them you can make this better than what they did yeah and probably. we're good with that take it customize it do whatever you want with it absolutely that's kind of the whole focus too i, I, I have a 3d printer on my desk so this somehow appeals to me <laughs> printing all the parts so so we have about three minutes flight time here. We have brushless, FR Sky. Uh, yeah, so there's there's two flight controller boards and the receiver's actually built into them. 
Um, and so one of them is Spectrum and the other one is FR Sky. So you can choose which one you want. So I need to pick that when I order. That is correct. So And, and then also, um, it's auto bind as well. So, okay, so. So each of them, and that's kind of something new because FR Sky hasn't really been possible before, but basically put in the battery, wait about 10 seconds, it'll start rapid flashing, hit bind, okay. and you're done. So you don't have to press buttons or. Uh, like, do are you going to make available a profile for my Spectrum radio? So, yeah, absolutely. So um, I can download that we, and not having to set it up? We are hoping to actually, these are obviously beta flight as well, so you can fully customize. Okay, nice. F4 flight controller. Um, we plan to also get onto beta flight with these in terms of the boards themselves will actually be on there. Okay. Um, so you can actually just download and click so it'll have all of the profile already on there for the board. Sweet. And then we'll offer, also offer the flight profiles as well. Now, talking radios. Yeah, so this is kind of our, we, we call it our consumer entry-level radio. Um, it's really made for the micros and another one of our drones called the Extreme V2. Um, so it's definitely not a hobby grade or you know anything like that. But what's unique but it about it, this, but so. it'll fly that. And what's unique about it is it has a 4.3 inch monitor built right into it. So you can see what's the, the 5.8 here. Feet. The price point on this is about 60 bucks. So, so it'll actually be cheaper though if you so buy it. So $200. With a controller, with a screen, and an FPV camera. Right, exactly. So you're right around 200 price point. Once 200 dollars with the screen is really a very painless entry into FPV, and the, this size here in particular, as you know, I do teeny whoops, is a size I really have a lot of love for, because you can go out here, we can fly around full hammer and smack into somebody, and they're not going to be suing me. And I like that last part. Right, yeah, Whereas yeah. the big tools that we sometimes fly, like thick, half meter, like big camera drones, they'll cut down bushes. Yeah. So these things are harmless, yeah. except for the speed. I was about to say, those are pretty powerful, so still don't want to hit anyone on purpose, but no, no. Uh, but they will not, you know, won't cause a lot of harm like, like the bigger stuff. So. Yeah, and, and they're not they're not going to draw too much blood. Right. So this <laughs> yeah, is really, the way I see it, this is something you can fly in a schoolyard. Yeah. Safely. Totally. Kind of. Absolutely. I fly in the backyard, I obviously fly in the house, of course, too. Um, and the beauty of it is the brushes, then you have that power of the yeah. bigger drones. Versus well, that's the problem with a teeny whoop. It is a brushed motor and they suck. Yeah. And they and they burn out all the time, yeah. the brushed motors. Yeah, so. just like when the... They suck when you put them on, then they get better, <laughs> and then when they're just perfect, they stop working and it's yeah. time to change them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, brushless is the way to go. About and $200 with radio, 1080p is 180 and 150 for the regular stand, standard definition. Correct. And also, too, the great thing is the uh, motors are also have connectors on them, too. Jamie, we're um, missing one thing. What's up? Where can they buy these? Uh, they can buy them at our website at droneart.com or also too, they'll soon be on Amazon as well, so they can be fulfilled there. And if you look at Amazon, you know, they might be made by somebody else and just about half as much. Possibly. <laughs> how, how, how are they going to know this is the real thing they're buying? So, um, because it'll actually say sold by drone art, so okay. they'll have our name there. So you have your own show. You'll know, so and it's also Amazon Prime Amazon.com, well. look for drone art, yeah. and, or go to droneart.com. That is correct. Brilliant. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you very much, Bo. It's a pleasure. Stay tuned. Click up on the side here to subscribe. We've got more videos coming up from CES 2018. And we're going to go out and play with this. I'll try to get an unboxed video done with one of these in the future. Sounds good.